episode of Keeping Your Pretty. On this episode, we decided to feature females that have written books, authors. We have to go out and support them. Let's keep in mind some of the ones that we have the Fashions by Fowler and that we recommend and want to support. Just like The Delusion of Cinderella by Kim Whitley. Sister, Step Your Game Up by Gail Mathis. The Unloved Wife by Rosalind Atkinson. Being Positive by Kimberlyn Dennis. Oh No, When Parents Go Away by Dakota King White. The Big Ask by Lucinda Cross. Andrea Cambo, The Beautiful Journey. A Dirt Road to Somewhere by Ramona Robinson. And Live at the Hope Haven by Dr. Yvonne Pointer. These are some authors that we highly recommend that you come to Fashions by Fowler and get their books or go to their website and let's support them. And if you're a new author and have a book out and you're looking for a venue to host your book signing, give us a call at 216-397-0808. And remember, through all of these authors' trials and tribulations, they also kept their pretty. I'm Renee Fowler. We're here at Keeping Your Pretty, and we're showing some fashions by Fowler. Myra is wearing one of our latest new maxi dresses we just got in. It looks like it's actually two-piece ladies, but this is a one-piece with a short skirt that is actually connected up underneath the dress. Look at the coloration on there. The design is the peacock design that is very very popular this season and this dress comes in the sizes of 1x 2x and 3x v neck neckline on this dress and we chose to accessorize it this evening with tear traps big hoop earrings along with the choker and the colorations that are in the jewelry Compliment the dress really nicely. The jewelry is only $25 and the dress is just $69. And all of this is available at Fashions by Fowler, 13119 Shaker Square in the heart of Cleveland. Any questions, just leave them in the comment box and we'll get right back to you. The sizes are 1X, 2X, and 3X. This white and black two-piece sheer short set has sheer panels over the shorts. It's four panels. There's two panels in the back and two panels in the front. Look at how it flows, chiffon. The shirt is V-neck. The sleeves look like a cape, but it's actually not. Look at how it just moves. When the wind is blowing, it moves. When you walk, it moves. It just glides. This would be nice for travel, a good travel piece. Very stunning. The necklace is slate rhinestones with pearls. And it also has pearl earrings. This necklace set is $45. Very bold. We also have a black on black rhinestone and beaded bracelet that's $19.99. The outfit is $75. Come to Fashions by Fowler and keep your pretty and get this two-piece ensemble.
Myra is wearing one of our red hot dresses here. It has the bow tie at the neckline, beautiful puff sleeves, and then check out the detailing at the bottom, that high split, along with that black, white, and red asymmetrical at the bottom of the dress. Very, very nice. It starts off being conservative, but then as we pan down, we'll see that it has a great sex appeal about this dress. It is $79. It comes in 1X, 2X, and 3X. Available at Fashions by Fowler, 13119 Shaker Square. Don't forget to like and share this broadcast. Welcome to another segment of Keeping Your Pretty. We have an amazing guest here today, Luciana Gilmore. She's gonna share with us an amazing gift God has given her through her foundation, which is called the Gilmore Girls Foundation. Ladies and gentlemen, Luciana. Hi everyone, my name is Luciana Gilmore. I am the CEO and founder of Gilmore Girls Foundation. Well, tell us a little bit more about your foundation and how God has blessed you with this <laughs> amazing, amazing foundation. So the foundation originally did not start off as a nonprofit. Um, I originally built the company to be a vehicle for mothers and daughters to be able to communicate more openly with each other. And so I started off writing greeting cards. Wow. Yeah, and that was amazing. I had an awesome time doing that. But then God said, okay, I need you to do some more work with that. Um, so it pushed me into really making sure that I built this company up to really touch the issues that I know girls face. Mm -hmm. So I formulated the Girl Girls Foundation um, and structured it around three pillars. And so I went back and forth on what I really wanted the foundation to focus on. And what I ended up doing is creating three pillars that I had dealt with as, as a child. And so the foundation is built on sexual abuse prevention, mm. domestic violence awareness, and incarcerated parenting. All so of many. which so that many. I dealt with, but also what I've seen in my walking education with a lot of girls. You know, um, when you said the three pillars, um, those are issues that are so relevant today. Absolutely. Not just with our girls, but with our men as well, our young, our young boys as well. Mm -hmm. Um, so just share with us uh, some of those three pillars. I mean, they have parents. Absolutely. So how are you even helping the parents to even help these young girls? So a part of the conversation that I had to sit when I was building a foundation is, you know, I want my whole goal and mission, I want to see girls become great women. Yes. That is what I want to yes. see happen. Yes. Um, I, I, I want to see them great. And so with that, what I understood is that I could not do this by myself. And so I had to go back and say, okay, if I want to see girls be great women, who else better to help me with this than their mothers? They are in the house with their mothers. Yes, they are. Um, and so while I knew that tapping into parenting and really addressing some of the gaps and barriers that we have in parenting, what I did understand more so than that is that if I could bring both parties to the table, how wonderful would that be? There are some parents, and I've had some experience with it, that a lot of these parents have not experienced a lot of things that they don't even want to share with their daughters or family members. How can you help these parents to open that line of communication with their daughters? And so that is how the Mothers and Daughters Revive Conference happened. And so we built the Mothers and Daughters Revive Conference around understanding that, knowing that there was a need to start this conversation. Yes. And so the conference was built out to say, okay, I know that there are some barriers that we have as presidents in mother-daughter relationships. And it's, it's across all households. It's a natural girls grow, they battle each other. It's the growing pains of just growing up. Um, and so I really wanted to make sure that I built a weekend of learning, 
of bonding, of ensuring that we put love Absolutely. into our girls, affirm them, and that they were able to walk away and have this conversation started so that we opened up those communication lines. And so the conference is three days, and that's the whole concept of the conference is built around ensuring that we open up those conferences. Okay, so give us the dates of the conference. The conference is April 12th through the 14th. It is at the Crown Plaza Hotel in downtown Cleveland. Um, it starts on Friday, and we started off with the mothers having a really relaxing evening. Um, but the girls actually start conference sessions that evening. Okay. Are, are we eating? We are doing finger foods that evening. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> finger foods that evening. You know you got to feed us. I absolutely. I absolutely. <laughs> and I, I got it. I got to take it care of. And so we do that that Friday evening. Saturday actually starts the conference. And so on Saturday, we do an opening session. And then we explain how the conference day will look for that day, how the sessions are aligned. And the sessions are structured so they're every hour on the hour. There is a session that either mothers and daughters can go to together, a session just for my younger girls, a session for my teen girls, and then a session that moms can go to by themselves. Wonderful. And so I wanted to make sure that I gave them a variety every hour. They could choose and say, you know, let me go. This session will be really beneficial for my daughter and I. And so one of those sessions that I created like that was the effects of social media. Yes. Both of them need to go in mm -hmm. for that session. And so that evening, um, we also have a petals and painting, and mothers and daughters are going to create a painting on a combined canvas. And then Sunday, we wrap it up with a celebrity wow. brunch. Wow. Girl, you done gave us so much information. You know what? You know what? Make sure make sure that we get everyone from our viewing audience yes. to come to the Gilmore Girls Foundation. Yes. So tell us, is there a ticket ticket price? Yes, and so mothers and daughters, so it starts off at 150. That's for the entire week. It includes breakfast, brunch, and all the sessions, the celebrity brunch on, sun, on Sunday, um, and, all, and all of um, the events the entire weekend. The daughters are $50 for the entire weekend, but every Friday up until the conference, we are having a buy one, get one. So mother and daughter can come for $150 for the entire weekend and engage in all the activities that we have planned. Wonderful. And yes. she's even made it convenient. You can go on Eventbrite yes. and purchase your tickets. Tickets are on sale now. Again, it's going to be at the Crown Plaza Hotel and Resort at the Playhouse Square, April 12th through the 14th. And I highly recommend all you mothers with daughters, if you're struggling with communication with your daughter, with these serious issues going on, it may be a R. Kelly somewhere, okay? But we want to make sure that the Gilmore Girls Foundation is highly supported. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>